Hi, I'd like to share with you the way that I cook corn on a cob. Corn just like this. In my opinion, it's the easiest and best way to cook the corn while retaining every bit of the flavor, nutrients, and all the good stuff. And it involves using no pans or anything, no grills. And I just think it's, it's absolutely the best way to prepare corn on the cob. So, so let's get started here. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare this corn for cooking in the microwave. Uh, what I do is I is I is I, I feel for the stock where it goes into the cob there, and and I take a pair of scissors and I cut just below that. I guess a knife will work with this, but I find scissors to work the best. And then and then from that I'm going to remove just enough of the layers. so that I do not expose any of the the corn on the cob, okay? So so there there I have uh, the layers that I the fewest layers I want. And then I go ahead and I'll, I'll cut the, uh, the, the, the the silk top off there. Okay. And for this purpose we're going to we're going to cook two in the microwave. So I'll show you how I do that. Let's let's go over to the microwave. Okay, I've I've placed the cobs in here as you can see opposite end of each other. Uh, in this microwave, uh, the table rotates. If if your microwave oven doesn't rotate, you might want to uh, uh, cook it in, in cycles turning each, which I do anyway. Okay, from here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cook these on a three-minute cycle. Okay, it has finished. So now. I'm just going to turn them over from what they were, make sure they're centered, and I'm going to cook it for another three minute cycle. So if I had four corn cobs, I might do four three minute cycles, maybe three three minute cycles. Uh, it, it varies depending on your microwave, of course. Okay, um, a couple of the side benefits of cooking corn on the cob in the microwave is, is one, it'll stay hot until you're ready to eat it. it. It continues to cook within the husk. You don't dilute it in water so you're not losing any nutrients or minerals or flavor especially. And it's just, like I said, the, the, the cleanup, there is none. You just peel and eat. Let's, uh, I think they're ready. Let's, let's, let's see what we got. Okay, I've, I've taken the corn out of the microwave and it's still plenty hot because it's just out of the microwave. And like I say, until you're ready to eat it, you don't need to peel it. And, and, and here, here's another yet benefit. Since it's cooked, these things are going to be real, real easy to peel. It's almost like a banana. All you do is you take and you, and you find the middle and, and you peel it like a banana. It's very hot. And then, you know, you can use a glove or whatever. You can wait for it to cool down. Then you just wring it off. And there you have it. Corn on the cob, ready for butter, salt. You don't need to peel it until you're ready. It'll stay hot for a long time. And there's, there's no mess. I didn't use any pots or any water. And I've just simplified the process as much as you possibly can and maximized the flavor and, and, and vitamins and nutrients. There is no loss. I am offering a way to use those leftover corn cut off the cob, a little butter in the pan, and then I'm going to add some scrambled eggs to it. There we go. So we have scrambled eggs with corn in it. It's on those one of those lines that you say, don't knock it until you've tried it. Let's 
salt. A little bit of pepper. And let them cook. Stirring occasionally. 